Okay, we are here at the American Academy of Self-Defense with Tyson TNT Jones. Tyson is the champion, coming off a, a very uh, dominant performance uh, the other day in Deer Park, Long Island, where you uh, got the PKF North American uh, heavyweight title. That's correct. Right, and uh, you were fighting against Nyan Wallow. Yes. Um, I was the ring announcer when we announced the decision. We announced it as a split decision. And uh, how did you feel when you heard split decision? I first reaction was like, what fight were they watching? Because usually after a fight, I'm as I'm like, question that when that fight, you know, did I get it? You know, because like so much adrenaline, you don't, you're not really sure you won the fight or not. You're not even sure what you do at the time in the fight. Because right. I know I'm in the fight. I don't remember half the stuff I do. That's why I gotta watch the tape. Cause I don't remember anything. Mm -hmm. Only thing I remember in that fight was throwing one solid rounds, kick to his ribs. That's the only thing I remember. Mm -hmm. But other than that, though, the whole fight is a blur. Yeah. So, but I knew even that one fight, I, I knew I won. I was more of the aggressor. I landed cleaner shots. I I brought it to him more. I blocked all the strikes. So I knew like I had that fight cinched. Yeah, and, and you know I I agree. As I was reading the decision, I'm like, what's going on? But then the good news is uh, it was a, a scoring mistake, and it turns out that it was a unanimous decision. Um, Nye and Wallow seemed like he was uh, happy to have survived with you, wanted a rematch, but I think after a unanimous decision like that, uh, I don't know if he's ready for a Tyson TNT Jones again. And I agree with that statement because I feel like if I was to fight him again like soon, like within like two matches, two matches from now, it wouldn't go to decision. That's like the fact. It's not to be cocky, not to like be arrogant, but I'm just stating the facts. If I was to fight him again, like two or three matches like later, it wouldn't go to a decision because in his head, he's thinking revenge. You know, he's thinking his pride got broken, his winning streak got broken, and I took away his chance to get in the title. So that's basically like three three strikes against him. I beat him unanimously. I went and his winning streak, and I ruined his chances for a title. So that's three strikes against him. So by going to fight against me, he's gonna be thinking about you know getting revenge, you know like get getting payback, you know take away my belt. But bottom line is though, my belt's not gonna taken away. I worked too long for this. I had to go through so much ordeals to get to this point, and I'm not gonna let like one person who I already beat take that away from me. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to being a kickboxing champion, uh, you're also an instructor here at the American Academy of Self Defense. That's correct. And uh, so, you know, if people want to train with Tyson TNT Jones, this is the place. Yes, sir. All right. What do you what do you uh, what do you teach these guys, Tyson? Kempo kickboxing. Right, I see you're uh, preparing somebody for their belt testing today. Yes, yeah, he's in there working hard. All right, he's gonna do great. Um, two weeks from now. All right. So, if you want to train with Tyson, come on out to the American Academy of Self Defense, run by Mike B. Yes, sir.